show ya Wish you made a call the way you turn me on The way you tell me you want me down mm-hmm. Done it, I done this before you fall I won't catch you, don't know I'm stolen Cause you love to have And I only apply a little bit of this to my face because me and Sasha be going at it guys. Sometimes Sasha, she be doing too much. Just to kind of set all of this in place, tone down the Sasha that I got going on. That brush is way too big. It's too big. Here we go. This is a good brush right here. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle. And I realized I hadn't done a makeup look on my channel in forever, and I don't know why. I love doing makeup, and I do it every morning before work. So today I'm gonna to show you my everyday makeup look, including what I do to control oil in my T-zone since I have oily skin, and also what I do to conceal the hyperpigmentation around my eyes. So go ahead, grab a seat, and let's get started. So guys, I've already washed my face, so the next thing I'm gonna do is put on my moisturizer. And I've been using this Corology Gel Moisturizer that I really like. It's super light and it's hydrating, so it doesn't leave a heavy residue on my skin and it seeps right into my pores. So now that I'm all moisturized, the next thing is to prime my face so it's ready for my makeup. And I'm using the Fenty Pro Filter Mattifying Primer. Not only is it gonna prep my face for my makeup, it also controls oil. So next I'm gonna put on my eyeshadow and I like to do that before my foundation so any fallout doesn't sit on top of my foundation which can be a bear to blend out. But first I have to prep my lids so my eyeshadow doesn't crease. And to do that, I'm using the LA Pro Girl Concealer in Chestnut. It's the exact same shade as my skin tone. And that's just the one that I like to use. And I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and apply it all over my lid and underneath my eye to even out my skin tone. And I just blend it with a damp beauty blender. And then I just go in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set that in place so my eyeshadow doesn't crease and the oil doesn't break through. So this is not only a setting powder, it also is great for controlling oil. And I just put a little bit in the lid and dip my sponge into it and shake off the excess. All right, and after that, I'm ready to put on my eyeshadow. So what I'm using today is the Morphe Baba Bloom eyeshadow palette. I love this palette, guys. It is so freaking pretty. Look at all the beautiful pinks and golds in this palette. You have shimmer colors, you have matte colors. That's why I like to use makeup palettes because all of the colors are in the same color family, so they all blend well together. So you can just go ham on creating your different eyeshadow looks until you find the ones you love the most. Um, but you pretty much just can't go wrong with a palette. So go ham, all right? So I like to start with a neutral shade for my all over lid color. And what I'm gonna use is, is this color right here. And I'm using a fluffy brush to sweep that color all over my lid. This makes it easier to blend all the other colors in your eyeshadow look. All right, so next I'm going to highlight my brow bone using this pretty light pink right here. After that, I'm gonna go in with this same fluffy brush and I'm going to put on a deeper shade of pink to add some drama. And I'm gonna use this color right here. And I'm gonna use that same fluffy brush that I used for my all over lid color. So 
So next I am going to add some depth to the outer corners of my eye and I'm going to use the darkest shade in the palette, this really pretty purple here. And I'm going to use a dense flat eyeshadow brush because I want to deposit a lot of color to this area. All right, and I totally forgot to put on my lid color, so I'm gonna use the same brush to apply this really pretty light pink color here to my lid. And again, I'm using this dense brush because I want to deposit a lot of color on my lid so the color pops. And I'm just gonna go in with that fluffy brush I used for my lid color and just blend all of this in. I got my eyebrows microbladed a couple of years ago, so I don't have to do much to them, but I do like to go in and fill in any sparse areas, and if I haven't had them tweezed in a while, then I just like to sharpen up uh, the outer line. Your eyes tell me that you don't wanna leave just yet. No, my eyes agree. It's almost like when we first met. All right, so now I can put on my eyeliner and I am using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. And I love this eyeliner, guys. It is so black. The color is so rich. It glides on so smooth. I tried several different black liquid liners and this one is my favorite by far. And next I am going to use this Maybelline Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil and Sleek Onyx to line my lower lash line. Alright, and now I'm going to put on my mascara and I am using the Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home Mascara in Trooper Black. I love pairing this with the Kat Von D Eyeliner in Trooper Black because the two together just... So the reason why I like to use a really dark liner and mascara is because I have really fine lashes and they're not that long. So I need a nice black liner and mascara to make my eyes pop. And even though I like the look of falsies, sometimes the lash glue can irritate my eyes. And quite frankly, guys, I don't have time to put on falsies before work. All right, so next I can put on my foundation. But first, what I'm gonna do is, this is one of my oil control techniques. I'm gonna put on a really thin layer of a translucent face powder. And this is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pore Blurring and Mattifying Face Powder. And I'm just gonna use my a big fluffy face brush and just swipe this all over. So come on, give me love. I'm gonna show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch. And, make me wanna and now for my foundation, I'm using my Holy Grail Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I love this foundation, guys. I have been using this, I swear, for about 10 years, and I will not deviate. It's full coverage, it dries to a really beautiful matte finish, and it stays in place all day. If you watched my very first makeup tutorial from five, six, seven years ago, this was the foundation I was using and I'm still using it today. All right, so next I'm gonna highlight under my eyes. Let me just say that this is a glammed up part of my makeup routine. For everyday work look, I don't necessarily highlight. But since this is a makeup tutorial, I wanna show you how you can glam this look up for an evening out and then also glam it down for work if you want to. So for my concealer, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match um, Concealer in Medium. And you can see it's a couple shades lighter than my skin tone, which is what you want for a highlighter. So I'm gonna use this brush and apply it underneath my eyes for a nice highlight.
And I'm gonna set that with a little bit of the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Again, I'm just putting a little bit in my lid. And I'm gonna dab my Beauty Blender. Knock off the excess. And I only apply a little bit of this to my face because me and Sasha be going at it, guys. Sometimes Sasha, she be doing too much. Um, sometimes it looks really pretty, but sometimes it looks really yellow and not natural at all. And so I am super careful about how much of this I use. And you know, even though we be fighting, I won't leave her alone, guys. I won't break up with her. Because <laughs> sometimes it comes out just gorgeous. And this powder is excellent for controlling oil, guys. So I'm going to put a little bit right down here in my T-zone. Just a little bit. I got the excess. Because I find that it really does help control the oil in my T-zone area. So... Any help I can get in that area, I am here for it. And I don't bake, so I'm gonna go in immediately and sweep this off. All right, guys, I think I just wiped all the powder off. Next, I'm gonna contour using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in Deep to Dark. And, and I'm gonna use the sculpting shade to contour. So Black Radiance has three of these palettes. They have a light, medium, and dark. And what I found is in the medium palette, the contour shade is just a little too brown. And in this deep, deep palette, the contour shade is definitely too dark for my skin tone but the sculpt shade is just perfect. So I love using this sculpt shade in this dark palette. It's just perfect for my skin tone and it gives me just the right amount of contour that I like. And I'm just lightly dabbing my brush into the powder. And what you wanna do is follow the natural contours of your skin. Just accentuate what you have and that is the best way to get the most natural makeup look. Now I'm gonna contour my nose with the Fenty Contour Stick. I love this stick, guys. It's this beautiful chocolate brown. The color is Espresso. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'm gonna show you how to move, how to move. And I'm just gonna blend it in with this brush that I picked up from Real Techniques. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say. And for my blush, I'm using Hard to Get by MAC. It's a really pretty shimmer shade. And I love this blush because it takes the place of that gold highlighter. And it's perfect because it adds a little bit of color and a subtle shimmer to your cheekbones. Look at that. Gorgeous. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do. I won't do for your body. So give me all your All right, guys. So now I'm going to line my lips using this MAC lip pencil in Chestnut. It's this beautiful chocolate brown, and it's my favorite lip liner. Right now, I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love. And for my lips, I'm using Spanish Fly by MAC. When I go bold on my eye color, I like to pair that with a neutral lippy. And this one is one of my favorites. And I'm going to top that off with a Too Faced Lip Plumper Lip Gloss. And as it starts to set, you can feel it tingling on your lips. All right, guys. So the last thing, the last couple things is to set all of this in place. So I'm going to sweep on some of the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in 360 just to kind of set all of this in place, tone down this Sasha that I got going on. That brush is way too big, it's too big. Here we go. This is a good brush right here. And I'm gonna set all of that in place with the uh, Benefit Professional Setting Spray. 
This gets rid of that powdery look so you have a more natural finish and it helps your makeup last all day. So this is how the finished look turned out, guys. It takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to do my makeup in the morning. If I'm pressed for time, I'll just cut out some steps. Like for example, for my eyeshadow, I might just sweep one color across the lid just so I'll have some color and depth in my eye area. And I definitely cut out the highlighting. That is an extra step that I typically reserve for glamming up the look for an evening out. So if I cut out those two steps, then it only takes me about 20 minutes to do my makeup. So this look is totally customizable, guys. You can glam it up for an evening out or you can glam it down for an everyday work look. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and join the crew and share this video with someone who could use it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.